Hey everyone, welcome back to another Fallout 76 video on the channel. A couple hours ago Bethesda released the new Inside the Vault article announcing the release of the new PTS update which is now allowing us to play the new America's Playground DLC. I covered the article and all the news in my previous video but now I want to share all the new stuff that I found in the PTS. Be aware there will be spoilers but if this is your type of thing then make sure to subscribe as there will be more videos like this one on the way. Let's begin. First things first, the new DLC has arrived bringing in a whole new questline. It starts off in Appalachia with the old Inger Mansion, but now is called the Rose Room, which is the new home to one of Atlantic City's famous families. I've played around about an hour or so so far and I'm genuinely surprised at how much I'm actually enjoying this. It kind of ties Atlantic City as well as Appalachia together and I've got to be honest guys, it is actually a lot of fun. It's not very, it's, it's not like simple fetch quests, you're actually doing different things which we kind of haven't seen before and stuff and I'm actually enjoying it, it's pretty good. There's also a new mission that's been added in with this update, but I've got to be honest, I can't actually figure out how you start it with this new menu. I, I don't know what it is, maybe I'm being stupid, but it seems like it's not optional, but I'm guessing it's got to be, so I don't know. Anyways, it's called the Human Condition, and it takes place in a new area which you can travel to and explore. From what I've seen so far though, it's pretty cool looking, and the area is pretty interesting. It's got different creatures and stuff dotted around it, and visually it looks really, really cool. Another interesting thing that I found is the new armor set that's been added in called the Civil Engineer Armor. It appears that you unlock all the plans from completing the new quest, however, all the mods are trapped behind Giuseppe where you need to trade them for stamps. I've checked out the stats and I'm sad to say it, but it isn't as good as the other armors that we already have in the game, with its stats currently at 144 damage resistance, 287 energy resistance, and 217 radiation resistance. Now if you compare this to the Secret Service, which is 250 damage, 220 energy, and 220 radiation, it's worse on everything bar the energy resistance, which I don't think too many people are that bothered by. It does however come with its own unique set bonus, given a chance to deal five fire damage to melee attackers, so I don't know, maybe that'll steer your vote. There is also a new Under Armour to match it, however I'm unsure at this point how good or bad it'll be, but it does share the same caps value as the Brotherhood of Steel Under Armour, so I'm kind of presuming that it shares its stats with them as well, meaning that the Secret Service will still be the best, in my opinion. Now on the note of Giuseppe, it also appears that he's had a bunch of new plans added into his inventory. I'll play the footage in the background so you can have a browse, but it does take some time going through it, so just have a quick look and... Yeah, see what you can spot. I don't think I spotted anything personally that was anything too crazy, but there is plenty of camp items and plenty of mods for that new armor, and I think there's a cool sounding bunch of new actual weapon mod, uh, weapon skins as well, so definitely something to look out for. Now the last interesting little thing that I spotted was on the main menu, where the wording has actually changed from scoreboard to seasons. It seems a little bit odd, maybe it means that there's some cool new changes coming, but I guess we'll just have to wait and see on that one. All in all, that's what I've managed to find so far. Like I said, I am actually very like surprised at how much I'm enjoying this DLC. Like I was, I was very dubious when I read the Inside the Vault. I was like, what's it going on about the quest is inside Appalachia? What's the point in Atlantic City? But then it ties them together and it really works out quite good. If you find any other cool changes, let me know down in the comments. But for now, that is it for this video. I hope you all enjoyed and if you did, make sure to hit that like button. And if you're new around here, make sure to subscribe. Thanks for watching. Bye bye.